Hey guys, welcome back to another video from EE Tech Reviews. And today we got the wireless Logitech Pro X headphones. And we're gonna do a quick unboxing just to see what we got in the box. Comes with the headset, comes with a microphone. They have external memory foam ear pads you can actually throw in yourself. Comes with a little bag and then the obvious USB dongle. But again, these are definitely highly anticipated pair of headphones. I know Logitech, these sold out on their website. I think the day that they were released. But it's nice to finally have a wireless pair instead of always having a wired mic to a wired pair of headphones. It is nice, again, to have all wireless solution here from Logitech G, which is definitely a reputable gaming company. The build construction, first impressions, is great. You have that faux leather headband cover over the top. You also have a solid weight to the headphones. Pretty shiny there with that chrome-like finish. Right and left ear cups are clearly marked. They do feel a little heavy. Uh, what else do we have? We have the earphone jack if you want to plug in directly. Power, power button itself, the charging port, and you have the little roller to do volume up down and then a mute and unmute your microphone. And there you see the little USB dongle. Comfort overall is great. I wore these for a few hours playing games, no issues there. Battery's fine. We'll go over the specs later. Here you can see the memory foam, ear pads. And let's just get into the final little parts of the unboxing here. In the top section, we have our little warranty paperwork. And then we have our nice bag that we can use. And they also include their detachable mic. And we'll get into the mic quality as well. And that's it for the unboxing, guys. Hey, guys. Let's get right into the specs. I'm going to be recording the audio directly from these headphones. Again, as you can see, sold out about 200 bucks. Hopefully they're still available on Amazon. Just quickly to go through some of the features here. Again, wireless with the little dongle. Blue voice, which we'll get into with the app review for filtering your audio. 50 millimeter drivers, which is 1.96 inches, which is a solid size for audio. Again, steel and aluminum. The build is definitely solid. Memory foam, and they also have just the faux leather type padding as well. And we also have... I believe it's a 2.0 for their DTS headphones, which is also that 7.1 surround sound. So let's quickly just go through what the website has for the specs here. For the Lightspeed Wireless, we're talking 20 plus hours of battery life in general on these at 15 millimeters, and that little dongle uses 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Again, as long as you're within line of sight of your headphones, I don't see an issue here with any sort of latency or anything like that you'll be fine blue voice we'll get into that it just enables you to do a whole bunch of things to the audio that you're getting sent directly from your mic you can lower the noise you can raise the quality you can ds get rid of all those hissing sounds make the voice more crisp in general comfort and durability again you can see in this image they have the memory foam on there versus the leather but you can change the padding all you want they both feel great Next Gen Audio 7.1, I'm going to say that you can definitely hear, you almost feel more spatial wearing these while you're playing, and you can definitely, yes, hear direction of anybody walking, footsteps, etc. 50 millimeter drivers, that's going to be enough to push any audio. But I'm going to say again, these are more toned for gaming itself, so it's definitely going to sound different if you wanted to listen to these for audio versus gaming, but these are definitely more gaming, less audio quality. And let's get right into the specs here at the bottom. You can also see what comes in the bag, as I already showed in the unboxing, the headset, foam, ear pads, extra memory foam cloth ear pads, the USB adapter, the detachable mic, we got a charging cord, it is USB-C, carrying bag and the user documentation. Physical specs, not going to get into that too much, but you can see weight, it's almost a whole pound, 13 ounces. So you're almost at a pound, which is pretty weighty. For the mic, we're not going to get into the science of a cardioid unidirectional microphone, but it is six millimeters. Frequency response, you do see it starts at 100 hertz, which is not a huge deal, 
but you can definitely tell the bass is lacking in certain areas. But again, it's for gaming, so you don't really need the full frequency range that it can give you. We got 20 up to 20 hours here of charging, up to 15 meters. Headphones, the 15 millimeters again. Magnets, neodymium. Frequency response, so it can send out all those tones, so you can hear the whole full range there. We're not going to get into any of the other specs here. So one of the gripes I do have with this is that you're required to have a PC with a USB port with Windows 7, obviously, or more. So you're, you're forced to use all the fancy wireless features with this USB dongle. It does have, again, the wired connection if you wanted to. And yeah, material-wise, forks aluminum, headband steel. Here in the head pads are memory foam leatherette, and the regular ear pads are just memory foam cloth. And a two-year warranty, which is pretty good. And that's it, guys. Next, we'll kind of get into the app itself, the review, and then we'll give it an overall score. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at the Logitech G-Hub app. It's fairly simple. It offers a lot of features in order to tweak the audio input and the audio output, which is nice. It is good to have a lot of control over it. From a default setting, though, you can set the mic level. But if you do go to enable Blue Voice, it basically gives you the options to set certain presets. Let's like say, let's say you want to sound like an AM broadcaster, broadcaster one to an FM station. You want your voice to sound. You can also go full manual if you really wanted to. You can go to equalizer here and set the values for every single part of your audio spectrum. Again, you got bass boost, flat communication, cinematic, which is nice. You can also go to browse more presets, which is pretty cool. Here, someone made their own audio presets, which is best for Discord, for streaming, for chatting, Discord and gaming, etc. So it gives you options to set there. And then what you can also do is you can play around with these other manual filters, high pass filters, noise reduction gate, etc. And you can play around with all of those. And they also have some from the pros, what they're specifically using. And just one other cool feature is you can set it so that it auto changes your profile. So right now it's on default. But if you had a specific mode or way you want to sound or listen to Overwatch, for example, or Rocket League or Apex, whatever you're playing, you can have specific profiles for those games, which is nice. And again, this is great for gaming because it gives you control over how you sound to others as you play and how you hear. But again, I don't think this is great for audio. Maybe you can change the EQ settings enough to where it sounds better. Uh, but again, I want to say these are a gaming focused headset not a specific for audio for music production, etc. Sister Sally sued the salty spittoon. Sister Sally sued the salty spittoon. We got other stuff here, like let's look at AM voice. Hey guys, this is Rich, and this is AM 98 point blah blah blah. All right, guys, let's get into the final review here for the Logitech Pro X wireless headset. Again, the electrical engineer's overall score for this one is going to be a 4.1 out of 5, which is an 8.20. It's a good, solid score for what these headphones can offer. Let's quickly go through the items. Price, I'm giving it a 3.85. You're paying 200 bucks. It's a decent sum of money just for your headset. Again, you could almost get one of the older versions of the Sony XM3s or the Bose QC35s if you're looking for noise canceling, wireless, all-in-one solution. Build quality, give it a 4.75. I think this is where it really shines. And I think it's probably one of the best parts about wearing these. You can wear them for a long time. They feel good. And yeah, they're great for long sessions of gaming. Value, I'm going to give you a 3.9. I think it gives you everything that you'll need in a set of wireless headphones, but there's a little bit of proprietary software, the the dongle. You're you're full, you're forced to use this for gaming on your PC, basically. Traveling, I'm gonna say NA in terms of a score. You can for I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give traveling 
I'm going to give traveling an NA because you need to have that USB dongle, so you're not going to be able to hook this up to your phone for something like that, which is definitely one limitation. Gaming a 4.55. I think the audio quality for gaming is great. You can definitely hear and feel spatially where you are with the 7.1 system. And you can definitely track where voices or people are walking, etc. Audio quality, on the other hand, a little bit disappointing. You're going to need to tweak the audio for it to even sound decent. Again, but it's not made for that, so I'm not going to get too far into it. My quality, you can tell as you, again, you have the ability to tweak everything about how you sound. I think the mic's fairly good for a wireless headset and a detachable boom mic. Battery, 20 hours is great. I'm going to give that a 4.15. Could it be better? Yeah, definitely. But for what it's doing, it's, it does a great job. Feature set, again, you have a whole bunch of abilities in terms of how you want it to sound, how you want to sound to others. So I'm going to keep it at a 4.1. Logitech G Hub, the app, I think it's fairly designed well. It's simple. There's a community aspect to it, which I really like. Again, I think it's another good app. Cool Factor, 3.9. It's definitely great that you have an all-in-one package for gaming, but the fact that it's basically only used uh, for you at home, you can only use it at home, that might be a killer for some people. But overall, I think it's still a solid product. So what's my overall recommendation here? I'm going to say yes. I would say buy it if you're looking for a dedicated wireless solution for gaming only. It's a relatively expensive wireless version of the already great Pro X headphones. And again, it, I think it's great for gaming. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the review and are actually interested in getting these Pro X headphones. Please like and comment if you have any questions or any recommendations for future reviews. And please don't forget to subscribe, guys. As a new channel, I definitely need your support. And I'll see you next time.